Hi folks and welcome to Truck King. Today we're looking at this, a Ford F-150 regular cab. But no, this is no ordinary F-150. This truck is fit with the FP700 package. That means it has 700 horsepower and it should go around corners really well. And that's exactly what we're going to put to the test in this video. Is this a real street truck or is it just a package for posers? The truck we're looking at in this video is the FP700 Bronze Edition and there is also a Black Edition available. Now you do need to buy a specific F150 to be able to put the package on. So if you're going for a Bronze Edition, you have to get an F150 XL, XLT, Lariat or Platinum. It has to be a 5 liter V8. You can get it in 2 wheel drive or 4 wheel drive. Any of the cabs will work as well, but you cannot get it with the 8 foot bed. So you do you have to order a specific truck to be able to add this package onto it. As you see here in this video, we have the six and a half foot bed and a regular cab. In my opinion, the preferred choice for a street truck. The heart of this package is a 3 liter Whipple supercharger which is bolted onto this 5 liter V8 and combined this package is making 700 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque and that is sent through a 10 speed automatic. Now another one of the advantages is this package can be installed by any Ford dealer that is associated with Ford performance parts and it comes with a warranty that's always a nice addition to going for a a kit that comes straight from an OEM. So if you go for this package, you get a three year, 36,000 mile warranty as well. Now, the engine's a big deal, you get all that power, but it's also about the way the truck looks, right? So you go FP700, you get a unique blacked out grill, which is pretty cool. Ours is the bronze edition, and the name comes from the bronze accents, like these nice bronze wheels down there. And you also have black lug nuts on the bronze wheels. That's really sharp. There's a couple badges too, Ford Performance, right here on your little hood vents to remind you what the truck is. And then one more badge back here on your rear quarter panel. Now, another thing you might've noticed, and you can probably really tell sitting next to me, this truck is lowered. Now, when you go for the FP700, it comes with a lowering kit, but this truck has a complete lowering kit, which is actually an additional option you can add on. So rather than just dropping the back end, this this kit drops the front by 1.3 inches and the back by two and a half inches to give us this nice lowered leveled out stance and it has a set of eibach springs in there as well so not only are you lowered but the suspension should make the truck handle better too now at the very back we do get a set of bronze lettering here on our F-150 on the tailgate. So that's one last addition. And then the exhaust, you can see some really nice side exit exhaust tips right there with the Ford logo on them. Taking a look inside this truck today, you are reminded that this is just an XLT. But then when you fire it up, you're quickly reminded that you do have that 5 liter V8 and the supercharger. And we do have an optional performance exhaust added onto our kit today as well. So this truck sounds pretty incredible. You know what? Stop listening to me for a second and just listen to this 5 liter V8 roar. Taking a closer look in here, yeah, this is a basic F-150. It's just an XLT. We just have cloth seats here, the simple bench seat up front. We only get the smaller eight inch infotainment screen. And I do have a digital screen in front of me, but it's not the fully digital gauge cluster. So yes, again, this is a fairly down trim truck. Now, what is the cost? That's a big question I wanna answer before we go driving. Here in Canada, as you see the truck, the raw cost is about $53,000 for the reg cab with the V8. 
but then you have to go add the package on. Now the package price is $12,350 US. And in this case, and it's not always like this, but in this case, we just have to convert the US to Canadian dollars. So it will change day to day. But today it was roughly $16,000 Canadian, which means that our truck, as you see it today, is just a little bit under $70,000 Canadian. And of course, I'll throw up the US equivalent price right here. Here at Truck King, we highlight vehicles all the time, but there's a whole bunch of vehicles behind the scenes that we need to make sure that we keep this YouTube channel running. We have backhoes for building trails. We have bulldozers for pushing around dirt and snow and tractors for, again, loading up trailers, taking weights around, snow blowing. And then of course, things like this simple John Deere tractor right here because we need to cut the grass normally. And of course, when you have a lot of machines, that means you have a lot of batteries. And that's exactly what this little segment is about. Moto Master actually reached out to us here at Trucking and said, hey, we want you to test our batteries to see if they truly do stand up to the conditions that we experience here in Canada. So we said, sure. Now, of course, Moto Master, that's the Canadian Tire in-house brand. So these batteries are gonna be available at Canadian Tire. So here in our John Deere, this is the original battery and it has been working okay, but lately it's been starting a little weak. So it is time. I mean, you can tell just by how corroded it is. So let's pop that guy out of there. And I've got my new battery from Motomaster right here. Now, this is a 430 cranking amp battery. So just a little guy, but here's maybe the most important thing I've noticed. It has a different set of posts on it, which are meant for a lawn tractor. And every battery that we have installed so far from Motomaster has been different. This is for lawn and garden. We also put a battery into my truck, Big Green. That one has side posts on it. We put a battery into our backhoe. That was a big battery with top mounted posts. So my point here is that it doesn't matter what your machine is from a little lawn tractor right up to a big backhoe or your regular driving vehicle, uh, Motomaster will have the battery to fit it. So we'll go ahead and toss this guy in there. Another thing that we have appreciated about these Motomaster batteries is they do show up with a decent charge in them. So once you throw it in, the vehicle will start right up and you don't have to worry about uh, charging it. And put the belly band on. Let me go grab my uh, tools and we'll get her connected. Okay, and just like that, new battery's in. And we should be away to the races. Take this old battery, and we'll go take it out to the trash. Now, I do know what you're thinking. How hard is it to test a brand new battery? Well, you're, you are correct, so please stay tuned to the channel because next year, because honestly, you need at least a year to test a battery. Next year, we'll come back and we'll let you know how all of these Moto Master batteries have done. But for now, from brand new, they've all been performing great. <laughs> See ya. All right, folks, here we are driving now on this FP700, and the first thing we got to do is try a launch. Now, there's no launch control here, and I'm just in a two-wheel drive truck, so that's rear-wheel drive, so this is all on the driver to make sure I launch good. Ready? Here we go. Sport mode, and launch. Oh. Oh my goodness, that is ridiculous. So I still burned some rubber. I was doing my best to get the best launch I could, but it goes without saying, yeah, you nail the throttle and you just light those rear tires up. This is a pickup truck, of course, which means that you have the light rear end. So getting kind of the best possible launch is rather tricky. It's not that simple. Not as simple as just nailing the throttle. And that's what launch control these days is all about. It helps to make sure the computer will keep your wheels from spinning and give you maximum grip. But all of that aside, launching this truck is absolutely ridiculous, puts a huge smile on your face. And yeah, the power is awesome. It's immediate. It absolutely pulls off the line. The exhaust under full throttle when it shifts just sounds hilarious. It sounds super aggressive. Um, yeah, the, the five liter already sounds good. And then you add the supercharger noises and then you add the exhaust on the back and this truck sounds awesome. 
So the, the characteristic of the engine, the crazy power, that is certainly a big deal with this F-700 package. But I was happy to see that Ford didn't stop there. They do also offer a lowering kit. And as I already mentioned, the truck we're in, it has the four corner lowering kit. So everything is dropped down and you get unique springs. So we have Eibach springs, unique suspension tuning. And that means that this truck actually handles as well. Now I'll start off with the negative side. Yeah, it's, it's kind of stiff for just daily driving, going over rough, uneven, broken pavement. It does beat you up. But in this truck, I can absolutely forgive it because it also goes around corners quick. You can see me taking some here. I was hitting corners and every time I'd hit one, I just felt like oh, I, could, I could do more. I could get more, I could get more speed. And that's a good thing. So I, we're very used to driving trucks on the channel, regular half tons, off-road versions of half tons. This, in terms of handling, is a world of difference from a stock F-150. It truly feels like it wants to go around that corner. There's a little bit of understeer. It's pushing wide a little bit compared to, say, a sports car with an even lower center of gravity. But for the most part, the handling improvement here is absolutely massive over a stock F-150. And it just makes the truck that much more fun. And it also brings it alive. A lot of sport trucks of the past, they were just an engine and no suspension, and that's not what Ford has done here. They've really brought it together so you get the power, but you also get the handling of the match, and I definitely appreciate that. There are drive modes here in this F-150, and they're not special for FB700. They're just the standard drive modes that you get in this truck, which means we do get a sport mode, and the most noticeable difference in sport mode is it just holds the shifts longer, so you get way up high in the RPM. And when I was foot to the floor in sport mode, this thing is shifting basically at like 6,500 RPM, just underneath the red line, so it's just screaming away which again, absolutely adds to the performance of it and it just adds to that exhaust back there. But there are a few ways where the truck has sort of revealed itself as being a standard truck with a performance package added on rather than having performance at its heart. And that's one of the things. There's no other drive modes here. Nobody came along and put in launch control. They just left us with you know standard sport mode and they said that's enough. And the same thing goes for the steering. Now I mentioned already the handling is good. Truly this truck as you throw it around corners as I even just sit here doing this in the lane it stays nice and flat. It feels like it wants to go around corners. What does doesn't feel that sporty is the steering ratio. The steering ratio is just really loose. If I was in a sports car or a performance machine, I'd want to have a lot quicker steering so that when I'm dialing in that steering, yeah, the truck is reacting a little bit more. And, and this is one of the ways where, again, the F-150 is sort of showing its, uh, its roots. It's showing what it was built for. This Reg Cab XLT was built as a basic work truck not as a performance machine. So you want a slow steering ratio for slowly going around corners or maneuvering around parking lots or you know tight areas. So again, it's, it's one area where Ford didn't upgrade the truck where maybe they should have. It just doesn't, it doesn't return that rewarding steering feel. And then the other area where Ford didn't do anything and they probably should have was with the brakes. They gave the truck 700 horsepower, but they didn't give me more stopping power. So, no one behind me here. I'm not gonna do an emergency stop, but let's feel them. They feel good, but they feel like standard F-150 brakes. They don't feel like big grabbers, again, that I'm used to on sort of a sports performance vehicle. And, and what's more, when actually I noticed it for the first time is that idle, even just sitting at a stop sign, I just feel like I have to dig my foot deeper into that brake pedal, put more pressure on it to keep the truck from moving. So there's the two areas where Ford could have gone a little bit further into the performance realm is with the brakes and with the steering. But like usual, we can be honest about this package. I don't know how many people are buying this truck to really take it to the racetrack. And if you're just gonna daily drive it, you're probably not gonna be disappointed in the steering or in the brakes. So those are more little nitpicky things because overall, what we have here is a ridiculous performance truck. And I think maybe the most important part of this 
is you're not going to find this at any of the other brands. Ram doesn't have a lowering kit and a 700 horsepower package, and neither does Chevrolet. Of course, the aftermarket will offer you those things, but right from the factory, this FP700 kit is basically putting this truck into a category of one. And that's maybe the most important part here. If you want an OEM sport truck with solid handling and loads of power with a warranty, you have to come to Ford to get it. Now that point, the fact that Ford is the only brand these days offering this sort of sports performance package, it brings up a larger conversation, which is basically just to say, where have all the sport trucks gone? Today, in 2023, it's all about off-roading. We see off-road trims up and down the lineup, affordable off-road trims, crazy expensive off-road trims, but that's it. There was a time from about 1995 to 2005-ish that street trucks, sport trucks, were the cool packages. We had the Ford F-150 Lightning from SVT. We had the Toyota X-Runner, the Dodge Ram, SRT10. So there was a time when slamming a truck to the ground and giving it performance and handling was the cool thing to do, but that's just not the trend anymore. So it's neat to see kind of Ford bucking the trend a little bit, offering us this package. And if you want to see a bit more of a larger conversation on all of those cool street trucks, well, Dad and I recorded a whole separate video on that, and you can go watch that as well. Final point I want to make is on the fuel economy. And I'll be honest, it's been better than I expected. When I first got this truck, I figured, you know, this was going to be a very expensive video to make. But at the end of three days living with this thing, going up and down the highway, we're burning 14 liters per 100 kilometers. No, that's not an efficient truck by any means, but for 700 horsepower, it actually feels okay. When we had the Ram TRX, it was definitely thirstier than that. The Ford Raptor R was thirstier than that. And the five liter V8 on its own is not gonna be that much better than 14 liters per hundred. So yeah, you know what? Considering the performance, I actually feel pretty good about the fuel economy. And that is not something I was uh, expecting to say in this video. Well, folks, we have come to the end of this video. And what can I say? The verdict here on this FB700 has to be that if you want a high horsepower, half ton pickup truck that will actually go around corners well, you have to go to Ford to get it. None of the other big three automakers offer a package like this, which makes it unique and that much more desirable. Honestly, this thing is such a blast. If you do spring for it, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So yeah, that's it for this one. But now, of course, I need to hear from you. Let me know what you think of the F-150 Red Cab, the FB700, everything you've seen in this video. And then as always, while you go down below to leave me that comment, hit like, hit join to become a member of our channel, hit subscribe so that you don't miss a video, and then come straight back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.